Hey guys, Apple has officially released today iOS 12.2 Beta 3 to register developers after two weeks of Beta 2. Now we get Beta 3. There's a bunch of fixes and enhancements with this software that I do want to share with you guys. I'm very excited about and also some changes that I think are very, very welcome changes to the software. Now, before we get into the software today, first, a quick word from our sponsor, ECU's Mobi Saver Data Recovery Software. It allows you to recover data from your iPhone, whether it's iTunes backup, iCloud backups, or even your device itself you can recover things like photos messages call logs call history notes and much much more even third-party applications like whatsapp messenger is supported with the software so if you want to check them out you can check out the free trial links will be in the description so as i mentioned ios 12.2 beta 3 was released today to register developers and public beta testers you guys will most likely see this as always later this afternoon or most likely tomorrow let me start with some of the bug fixes within the software starting with the lock screen one that was driving me crazy the battery percentage would only display below the time no date and no month was displayed but now it is fixed as you see you can plug your device to charge it will show you the charging status and then it will go back to the date and the month and that's something that's been fixed with the latest software now there's also a few things that i had issues with that's going to be bluetooth and wi-fi when turning off bluetooth and wi-fi on beta 2 the device would just completely freeze i couldn't do anything it would just be stuck in a complete frozen state and then it will you know come back but then it would take a while maybe a minute maybe two minutes sometimes but now you see that i can turn off bluetooth and wi-fi from control center from uh, the actual settings application and no freezing happens so i'm very happy to report that it looks like a step in the right direction now in settings if we go to general and we go to about you'll see a brand new user interface here we have right here the iPhone name, whatever you want to name it. You have the software version. It says 12.2. And we no longer get right here the build. So what we have to do is tap in order to get the build number this time around. So 16E5201. E is going to be the build number for beta 3. We also have the model name, the model number, the serial number, any songs, any data taken up with applications or photos, the capacity, the available space, and all the way down here we have the digital SIM IMEI number as well. So a brand new looking interface here for the about section, very detailed. I really like this one a lot. It's just a lot easier to understand, a lot nicer to get around with this new change in the software. So as usual, let's go ahead and run a benchmark here to see what the numbers look like on the latest beta and I'll be right back. So the latest numbers 4807 single core score and 10,872. The numbers are looking good. A lot of bug fixes. Of course, I will have a follow-up video for you guys with more additional features and changes that may come about within the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm going to be testing the battery and a lot of bug fixes, so I'm happy for that. This was a quick look at iOS 12.2 Beta 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.